After many moments of waiting, we finally got a new Joker trailer. I actually gave my opinion about that uh, test footage that uh, came a couple months ago. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to see it. Uh, and but this trailer, this this trailer is really good. I really liked it. And uh, the thing is, everything I wanted uh, to see in this movie, it seems that is it is presented in this trailer. First of all, I talked about the Joaquin Phoenix. Sorry if I mispronounced his name. Phoenix is this, uh, this trailer really sold me on Phoenix uh, as the Joker because like the way he moves, the way he talks, it really seems like he's doing his own thing, you know, like something that we never, never seen before. Like his laugh uh, and his uh, kind of speaking, uh, the, the way he talks, doesn't remind me not either on uh, Nicholson, Ledger of the, or the uh, Jared Leto. So that's really good and I really like how this trailer presented us his tra transformation throughout the movie. At the beginning you see like he's walking kind of depressed like uh, how kids are beating him up and uh, generally like that attitude like of some some weak person you know. Uh, but yet by the end of this trailer like there is so much confidence in his walk and uh, the way he's like he smiles all the time like some sometimes crazy sometimes just like yeah, this, my job succeeded here, you know, and it's really cool to see that transformation and I hope that that character development that I see in this trailer will be presented with uh, good dialogue in the final pro product, uh, the movie. Uh, also, this trailer, like, it really gave us a lot to talk about in terms of uh, Joker's backstory because we see that he had a mother, like, and that he had a, what I suppose is some, like, love interest, I guess. But uh, yeah, and I'm really not sure where these characters will lead him. I, I, I'm sure that uh, to some of them something terrible will happen and that uh, these things, these deaths will be one of the things that will uh, lead him to the Joker, greatest comic book villain ever. So yeah, I'm like, I hope they don't go too much like with, because I see like he's uh, dancing with his mom. I, I hope we won't get some Edip uh, type shit here. I really don't want to see it. And what is really interesting, because I watched the movie, I uh, wish you were never, I wish you were never here, I wish you were here, something like that, with Phoenix as well. And he has a very similar re relationship with his mom in that movie. So it's kind of strange that I see him uh, do basically the re very similar, uh, that he's in the very similar situations in two movies. Uh, other than that, yeah, other than Phoenix, uh, yeah, we saw a lot of actors, De Niro, like his mom, as I said. Uh, and what I like the trailer as well is that uh, this trailer tr truly tried to show Joker as this uh, stand-up comedian, like his past life. Because, like, at the end of the trailer, the way he just, like, jumps and stomps on the ground, that's so, like, that that's some classic com comedian, stand-up comedian shit that right there. He said this trailer really, really showed me a lot of the things that I wanted to see, like, and some that I even didn't know that I will get, you know, like with his mom and that, how much it will focus on his life as the stand-up comedian. Uh, also, I think that this trailer has some excellent shots uh, and it's really, I really hope that uh, this is the, um, directed by the guy who directed Hangover. I hope that he will do the right, the good job and it seems he will do it from this trailer. Other than that, all only thing that I want to say, like there are a bunch of theories, if, like if, if that kid is Bruce Wayne or not, like who is that man who is shaking uh, next to Joaquin Phoenix, like there are a lot of theories, but I only can, I don't really want to speculate in this video, but one thing that I also got from this trailer is the way that uh, Gotham City looks, like it looks really like the depressing city, like the, with the low standards for the people, and that's what I really like, because one of my only gripe with Nolan films, like I love that these movies, but my only problem is somehow that Gotham looked too clean, you know. And yeah, that's basically all, I think, all I wanted to say about this Joker. I really like the suit, by the way, like now it really, with this trailer, it really shows how well it fits with uh, this version of the Joker. But I don't think it will be his final look. And uh, yeah, this is all for this video. Hope you have a good day. Bye.